Before we start today's video, I have two quick announcements. The first one is that the first video on the Moisky Reads channel is now live. It is an excerpt on Azathoth. The next will be the Cats of Ulthar. Link below. Second, at 9.30pm, perhaps earlier GMT, over on the Cthulhu Kin and Friends show, Trups and I shall be doing a bit of a look, as deeply as we can, at the somewhat redacted 400-odd page Mueller report. I believe many are saying there is horrible obstruction that must be dealt with and impeached, and others saying, oh look, Trump didn't do nothing. We'll let you, the audience, decide once we get a chance to look at it. I shall mostly today be reading it, so I am as best prepared as possible to pick out the best parts. Link to the Cthulhu Kern Friend Show and the stream down below. So today we're going to talk about the uber ad-friendly and totally not at all going to get me into trouble with people who are going to think that I'm just being nasty to Labour cause. The Labour Party. You see, they are totally tolerant, yo. You could cherry-pick a number of their quotes if you like, and they'll always end up looking anti-Semitic. Take, for example, Richard Bergen, the current Labour Shadow Justice Secretary, who has kind of landed himself into a little hot water by saying that Zionism is the enemy of peace. This is something he has, in fact, denied on television, something he has denied vehemently. You told a Labour Party meeting, did you not, in 2016, that Zionism is the enemy of peace? Well, that was an allegation made by the Daily Express. I asked them at which meeting I was meant to which have I said that. The, I think it was reported in the Daily Mail. The but Daily Mail. But did they, they you couldn't say respond that? to me. I didn't say that, and they couldn't tell me when they believed I had said that. It's not my so, view. So I, you I didn't, believe... You I, didn't say... I mean, it's important, because you may well be correcting the record here, hmm. which is important. You didn't say that? No, and it's not my view. I, be, I believe that on occasions... Uh, the government of Israel, like the governments of other countries, has been an enemy of, of but peace. What, we've got to see that's a separate subject. Oh, of course, and I understand the difference. Joan Ryan, though, Labour MP, she's the chair of Friends of Israel, uh, she wrote to you asking you to clarify the comments, but when you replied to her, you didn't deny that you had made them. Well, I didn't make those uh, comments. I asked when I was meant to have made those comments, no one could tell me, and it's not my view. So if it's not my view, I wouldn't have made those comments. Okay, so why it. didn't you just say, I didn't, I didn't say it? That. Because I've got your reply here, you didn't deny that you'd said it. Well, I would not have said that because it's not my view. I believe he wanted to sue the Daily Mail for it, but he, he did, he did say that, and I'll get to that in a moment. For those who want to know a little bit about Richard Bergen, Richard Bergen was, prior to becoming MP in 2015, a lawyer for unions, I believe. Not long after he was made an MP, he voted for Jeremy Corbyn to be selected as the leader of the Labour Party because they are both pacifists, so their politics align quite nicely. Not long after Jeremy Corbyn was elected head of the Labour Party, he was chosen, Bergen that is, to be the Shadow Justice Secretary. One can surmise this had a lot to do with his previous occupation and less to do with the fact that he voted for Corbyn. Last thing Corbyn wants is dissent within his own ranks, of course. Now, skipping ahead, because there are a number of things Bergen's been involved in. Class action lawsuits against The Sun, for example, where I believe he won £30,000. Bergen recently was on The Andrew Marr Show, and it was on this show that he denied saying that Zionism is the enemy of peace. He's also said it on The Andrew Neil Show. I believe he may have also said it on Question Time, but I cannot be bothered to go trawling through Question Time to find it because quite frankly, fuck question time. Dimbleby does my head in. I know Fiona Bruce now presents it, but seriously. Now it's worth playing the clip now of him saying it, because I think it is quite relevant. So you can be best informed on this particular comment, and then we should address the fallout. And the enemy, the enemy of the Palestinian people is not the Jewish people. The enemy of the Palestinian people are Zionists. And Zionism is the enemy of peace and the enemy of the Palestinian people. And we need to be loud, we need to be proud in support of a free Palestine. I make no apologies. I'm proud to say not only wouldn't I be a member of Labour Friends of Israel, I've never been uh, a, a member of Labour Friends of Israel. And I'm all for everyone's opinions being out there and everyone having their opinion treated with respect, but look up on the internet, because it's there to see on the Labour Friends of Israel website, which MPs are members of Labour Friends of Israel, which Labour MPs are officers of Labour Friends of Israel, and ask them, in support of the Palestinian people, in protest of what's happening in Gaza now, to resign from Labour Friends of Israel, to show support for all humanity. 
Now, as far as the fallout goes, there is a number of issues that have arisen. The first being that during a libel case, he refused to actually say in court whether or not he had actually said this, which I think, as far as a lawyer goes, makes this quite tricky for him, because he, with his previous experience, would surely know how to choose his words carefully. So when he says, and Zionism is the enemy of peace and the enemy of the Palestinian people, it appears he is choosing a side. I personally, by the way, would prefer a peaceful solution where both can reach an agreement, but that is going to be unlikely. Richard Bergen has yet to actually apologise and actually has refused to do so, I think, considering the nature of his occupation and considering the position he holds with a party that believes they are the government in waiting. He should. Whether or not anyone accepts it is a different matter. The annoying thing for him now is that, as he should know better, he surely would have apologised immediately so that the party doesn't look like it doesn't give a fuck about what could be argued to be anti-Semitism. To me, it's a poor choice of words, and it's one I've heard by many. I have heard, as many people say Zionism is the enemy of peace, as I have heard people say Islam is the religion of peace. It is quite irritating to continually hear these terms thrown about, and even in the context of what the man was talking about, it is a bit poor. We have heard people say far less and be punished immediately for it. Hell, I'd argue Naz Shah's suggestion of moving Israel to somewhere in the middle of America is far less offensive to what he said. If you're balancing offence here, at least she was looking for a solution. Do I need my sarcasm for time for that? I earlier said that Bergen has refused to apologise. What he has done instead is play the politics card of expressing regret. That is not an apology. I would give you a tutorial on this, but internet apologies are just as cringe and bad, in the sense that when people apologise on the internet, they make an apology, and then they make a load of excuses, completely devaluing the apology and ending up looking worse than they were when they started. In politics, playing this card of regretting, as opposed to simply saying two words, is just as bad, because you are not admitting guilt, you are just saying you regret it. Saying sorry is actually all people need. We don't need an explanation why you said it, because, let's face it, no one cares. You're the Labour Party. You are, to most people, anti-Semitic. Optics are important. Perhaps you're not the spin doctor of the party, but whoever is the spin doctor of the party, I wish you the very best of luck trying to spin this one so that, I don't know, you make the Tories look anti-Semitic instead. Things like this don't help those that are within your own party that, in fact, say your party are anti-Semitic, and they themselves are Jewish. I know people like to character assassinate. I remember the prophet Cthulhu doing it. Character assassinating a Jewish woman because she spoke out against the Labour Party. Hmm. Classy. The Labour Party aren't anti-Semitic. It's the Jew that's the problem. <laughs> Seems legit, right? And I do find it quite interesting that for somebody who doesn't care for the political classes, which is something you have said on many interviews, you yourself are using a political class to negate acting like a human being. Anyway, I thought this was all quite amusing. Another incident involving a Labour MP saying something that could be argued to be anti-Semitic, and then them denying it on national television on many occasions to only then be debunked saying it and refusing to say sorry for it. That is hilarious. It's hardly surprising Jeremy Corbyn hasn't fired you yet, He's the same guy that expressed sympathy with Hamas suicide bombers. So, <laughs> congratulations. You are certainly the party of tolerance, acceptance, diversity, and, of course, peace. If I don't see any of you over tonight on the Cthulhu and French show for the Mueller Report special, I hope you all have a lovely Easter weekend, and thank you all for listening.